Welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And I'm Justin Riley, and we are here at Rubens Our Lifestyle Furniture Store here on the west side of town. And this is such a comfy chair. I don't think I'm going to be getting up after the show. No, and we don't want you to. Enjoy your day. Okay. We'll tell I Adam will. you'll be here for the weekend. Yeah. And we'll just pick you up on Monday. That sounds good. I'm going to hang out with my buddy here. This is, uh, I think it's a Magilla Gorilla. I, saw, I love it. They have funny little props throughout the store that yeah. are really cute. But I love coming here. It is so gorgeous. It makes me just want to start fresh and start go fresh. leather. Fresh start. Yeah. Yeah. Throw out everything in your house. Put it out on the curb. Come on That's down right. to Rubens here. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we're, we're going to be talking with Adam about leather today, I which I'm yeah. really excited about because leather really is a kind of an investment piece because it's something that you really only have to buy once and i'm excited to hear more absolutely. about absolutely we'll, we'll find out too but it's actually good for kids and pets and we'll mm -hmm. find out why a little bit later in the show yeah. we're also going to be talking about it's summer we're talking swim lessons yes and i think it's perfect time to get those kids into swim lessons and it's really never too too young to start them i guess yeah, I think they, uh, Bill says they usually try to start them at about six months, but um, I think his his youngest, Sally, is going to start a little bit sooner than oh that. Oh my gosh, so. we're talking to Bill Te yeah. Teagum from uh, Little Stroke Swim Academy. That'll be later in the show, so yeah. we look forward to it. And we're talking the art of strength with Nicole from Iron Grip Gym. She's going to join us and talk a little bit about how we can get in shape. And what's really cool about her story, she's going to tell us a little bit about her story and how she came to, to Iron Grip Gym and how she came to own it. And she doesn't have a background in athletics. No. And I think that's so inspiring for folks at home who, who maybe are a little overweight or just feeling like you're not in the right shape. It's really never too late to start. So mm -hmm. we'll hear a little bit about her story, how she got started, yeah. and can inspire you to do the same. Yeah. And that's actually coming up next here on Wisconsin Family. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're having a nice time here with each other and the gorilla. And the gorilla. <laughs> we're at Ruben's Our Lifestyle on the West Side off of Whitney Way. We're going to chat with Adam a little bit later. We're looking forward to it. Right now we're talking fitness and it is a great time to talk fitness as we roll into summer. Nicole, thank you so much for joining us. She's from Iron Grip Gym and we're so glad to see you. Good to be here. Thanks. So I didn't know this. I just was picking Nicole's brain a little bit, but Iron Grip Gym is an art of strength training center. I didn't mm. know that. That's a really neat, I guess, fun fact for you guys. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but give us a brief overview of what we're chatting about today. Um, so I'm going to go into a little bit about how Dustin and I got into fitness and our background because most of our clients don't really even know where we started or why we started. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. good. Okay. We'll get to your path to yeah. success. Yeah. And, and talk a little bit about your background. I mean, have you always been into fitness and, you know, health-related topics and so forth? No, not at all. Um, I actually, before Dustin started working out, um, I lost 50 pounds just for, through diet and exercise, like just an elliptical. Wow. And my diet. And then once I started losing that weight, then he decided he was going to as well. So um, that's incredible. It was just something developed later in life. Wow. I was never athletic. I didn't play any sports or anything. So yeah. That's so motivating, though, not only just the starting to lose weight, I think, is motivating because mm -hmm. you start to feel better and start yeah. to get more energy, yep. but also for folks at home that, you know, might be thinking, you know, fitness really isn't for me or yeah. how do I get started or am I going to be able to get results? I've never been an active yeah, person. Yeah, I don't have a background in athletics, so I don't yeah. think I can do this. So that's <clears> a nice motivating story. Yeah. Like, you can, you can start at any time and yeah. just start incorporating it into your lifestyle and look the results. Yeah, okay. I mean, we actually, we have client, like I said, most of our clients don't even know, they, some of them know his story, but they don't know mine, but it helps me relate to them whether they know it or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, you can start anywhere, literally. Yeah. Absolutely. And so you said Dustin had kind of had a, almost a similar path. Yeah. So yeah. he actually started after you. Yeah. Well, he played like sports in high school and things. Um, he got quite heavy before I met him in the 200s range and he, both of us actually smoked when we met and everything so we were like we were out of shape. You guys um, were a different couple back then. Oh my then. gosh. <laughs> yeah. It's so different. Yeah. Um, so 
he lost a bunch of weight before I met him, but then when he started working out, he started building the muscle and his diet cleaned up too. So it just became a lifestyle for both of us, yeah. which I think makes it easier. So true. You you hear people say that, and when you try and do those sort of fad diets or fad workouts, it just doesn't stick. So, I mean, it we know now there's no secret formula, there's no secret sauce. You need to put in the effort yeah. mm -hmm. and make it a lifestyle change. It really is you. a lifestyle change, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and, you know, speaking of lifestyle change, since you've made this lifestyle change, since you've started strength training, I'm curious to know, how do you feel you've evolved as a person? I feel like... Um, like, you know, you see these slogans, like, um, what do they say? Strong is, is the new skinny or something. Strong. Smart. That, yeah, kind of, like that. that kind of thing. Like, I don't Cute. feel like I personally need to be super thin as long mm -hmm. as, you know, I'm strong and fit. Sure. And I feel like I can relate that to my clients as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they get that impression. Sure. I love that evolution sort of of body types. This is a whole other topic, yeah. but yeah. it's really true that it used to be kind of in for women and even guys in some regards to be really thin mm -hmm. but now it's all about fitness and looking yeah. fit is actually yeah. more desirable and it's than healthier looking thin. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I love that so great yeah. great quote uh, let's talk a little bit for viewers at home who may be in similar situations and be inspired by your and Dustin's story do you have any suggestions for them about how to just how to get started where do you start my biggest success was one thing at a time like I changed my diet first and then I started like the elliptical, which just helped burn fat. Didn't build any muscle, but it got me where I wanted to be at the time. And then after that, I quit smoking. Like yeah. I did oh, wow. everything okay. in phases, Good. because I feel like if you just try to do everything at once, you're not gonna succeed. And I've heard that if you try to change too many things, like you said, all at mm -hmm. once, it, it greatly reduces, it doubles your chances of failure for yeah. everything, you're, every new thing that you're trying to change. Yeah. So totally by changing that. one thing at a time mm -hmm. and getting that in place, you know, and being yeah. patient with yourself, I think mm -hmm. that you'll increase your chances for success, which yes. is clearly what you did. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. It's the yeah. little Both wins. The little wins. Celebrating yeah. the small successes. Yep. So um, you guys have a summer special that's coming up through Groupon, mm -hmm. I believe. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? A couple of different things. So we have have um, our Groupon, which is for anyone. So it's the two week special, unlimited, it's $25. You can come as much as you want in that time. Um, the second deal there is a four week period where you can pay $50 and come as much as you want during that time. And then separately through our gym, we just have a straight $300 fee for college students for the summer. Oh, and they can come wow. as much as they want. So yeah. I know we have a ton of people that have come back from college and they can't do a year membership and it's too sure. expensive to pay by class. So we just found that's a flat really fee nice. for them to pay. Yeah. That's great because it is, it's it's tough for, for them. There's very few gyms, if any, that do those short-term memberships. Yeah. So that's really nice. Yeah. And some great deals, talking about where to get started. Yeah. Some great deals to just kind of get your foot in the door and yeah. you don't have to commit. Just mm -hmm. give it a try, see how it goes, and I bet you you'll be hooked because yeah. I know how that is. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This is Nicole Parrish from Iron Grip Gym. Make sure you go see her and Dustin. They're over in Middleton. They've got a, a great place over there. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, thanks a lot. We're going to be back. We're actually talking swimming and kiddos. We're here at Rubens Our Lifestyle, and we'll be back with more Wisconsin Family. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are at Ruben's Our Lifestyle, and we're having a lovely time. We are. And we're going to be talking with Adam later on in the program Looking today. forward to it. You may recognize one of these two familiar faces. Yeah. This is Bill Teagum from Little Strokes Swim Academy. And who is this that you brought with you today? Jeez. Here's Sally. And did you find her outside? Is that uh, yeah. the <laughs> She's on the doorstep. Yo. You can't expect us to concentrate yeah. with this adorable baby sitting next to us. She is so sweet. Yeah, I know her, her sisters got to make their debut a couple months ago, right. so we figured it's Sally's turn. It it's is. Sally's turn. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Are you eating so your dress cute. there, buddy? Yeah. yeah, it's just a yeah. snack. It's okay. You know, That's all right. No snack. judgments. No judgments. <laughs> so, Bill, it's getting warmer. Um, our, our, you know, what is that like at Little Strokes? I mean, are folks signing up like crazy to get their children ready to swim this summer? Yeah, we're uh, we're coming out of our busy season. Mm -hmm. um, our our busiest season by far is spring. Um, okay. So we're finishing up this week. And um, we'll be moving into summer session, which is also very busy too. I mean, as sure. you can imagine, I mean, people want to get their kids swimming before summer. So oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, as the weather gets warmer, yeah, people sign up. So yeah. they sign up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a good pattern to me. Yeah. And I know your other two kiddos are 
swimmers already. Yep. How about Sally? When does she get to start swimming lessons? Well, normally we start um, our, our babies at six months. That's the pediatrician recommendation. Sure. So incredible. But to this me. one, this one loves swimming in the bathtub so much oh. that we decided to put her in a little bit early. We're putting her in this session, so she'll be four and a half months starting the, oh. <laughs> starting this, the summer yeah. session. And uh, progress is really slow at first, but sure. um, you know it's baby steps, literally. So literally. I was yeah. just um, going to ask. I mean, what does a swim lesson look like for a six-month-old? Yeah. I mean, um, well, we, we we teach them how to how to go underwater. I mean, at six months, it's pretty natural. They've been in the water more than they've been true. out of the water. Yeah. So, right. It's um, like home. Yep. You got it. So they, a lot of babies just really take to it, and uh, yeah. it's we take it at their pace as, as they uh, as they develop. Um, their breathing pattern, you know, mm -hmm. going into the water. As they get better at that, we go deeper and deeper, and they go further and further. I mean, six, seven months, they can they can start to swim by themselves. It's That's pretty amazing. So incredible, and so, so good for safety too, because yep. kids are around water so much, tubs and pools and all kinds of things. So, to have a little bit of instinct yep. built up, I think, is smart. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. Well, let's talk for a little sure. bit about the new place, because yeah. you're. Uh, I mean, the things things are kind of cooking with that now. When uh, when is the new building going to be open, and who's who's doing the building? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we are going to be open August 4th for lessons, wow. um, so we should be should be open really at the end of July. Okay. We're on pace. It's been an awesome process so far. I've been, I mean, people share horror stories about construction and how you know sure. can, you can really get put on the back burner a lot of times. And um, CCH General Contractors is our has been our builder. Okay. They're an arm of Classic Custom Homes of Wanakee. Okay. Um, okay. And so they they're a general contractor. Uh, for commercial, but they they have the the home home builders touch, so sure. it, it's right. really it's really great. They've been they've been awesome to work with. Like I said, like every single day, like I'm, I'm out there all the time, of course. Sure. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but every day there's something new, and it's, it's yeah. been it's been a real treat. So yeah. what do you think about that? <laughs> she is a very impressed with the new place. She's, She's so excited. cute. But, yeah, so they're our builder, and, and they've they've just been a, a delight to work with. And our our, uh, our lender has been First National Bank in Wanakee. Okay. We've been working with Paige and Dave over there at the, the new Wanakee branch there, and uh, they've been awesome. They, everybody seems like they're just really in it for us, and, yeah. and they they take time to listen to our goals, and, yeah. and, and, and 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 it's just it's just been a really really good experience. So that's my little that's plug for nice. my builder and yeah, my no, lender. But they are. I appreciate awesome. that. That's what it's yeah. nice. It's, awesome. it's hard to find good folks when you're doing something like that. So when you have somebody good and are actually on time, I was surprised to hear you say that. Yep. You know, you yeah. wanna you wanna give them a shout out. And we're just really happy for you with all the. I mean, that's just hey, so indeed. exciting. That's so exciting for you to have your own space now and oh uh, your own building and everything. New place, so. new cute yeah. baby. <laughs> it's all going well. So tell us with the new place, what's going to be different from where you are currently? I mean, is there going to be new programs or new staff or what's yeah. going to be different? Um, the big differences right off the bat are the physical location. We'll be, we'll be close to everything in Wanakee, um, not so far out in the country. We'll have a parking lot that's right next to our building. We'll okay. have a modern filtration system that'll keep us open a lot more. And yeah. um, staff changes, yes, we will have a few additions, um, a couple new part-time uh, instructors as well as um, a, a, a full-time lifeguard on deck. And um, but. Uh, We'll also be oh, and, and new programs too. Yeah, we'll be we'll be offering uh, several different water aerobics options. Some senior only water aerobics. Okay, right. um, Adult swim time, family swim time. Um, Fantastic. Some physical therapy time. So yeah, we'll be doing all kinds of stuff. So to That's fill up awesome. those hours. So. That's exciting. That'll yeah. be wonderful. And yeah. the new locations over on Quinn Drive in Wanakee. Yep. Okay. It's in the Arboretum Office Park. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. And and when and how does somebody if they want to start. Um, start swim lessons at that new location. When and how do people sign up for that? Yeah, we um, will be starting our uh, summer two registration June thirteenth. So it's okay. coming right up. Okay. Um, so get on the ball. It's going to be a busy session. I think at our new place, we're we're already kind of busting at the seams in terms of our pre-registrations. So oh wow. Um, okay. Well, good. I've, I've so got a good. closing question for you. We got to go pretty quick, but year-round swimming is important too. We're talking about summer. Is there a quick? One reason that year-round swimming is important. Yeah, I mean retention is everything what? at this age. You are awfully drooly. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, no, kids kids forget things as yeah. soon as they learn them. You know, unless they mm -hmm. keep on practicing. So maintain um, that muscle yep, memory. So muscle memory, um, you know, it, that that's that's huge. Um, we'll ask you more about that as we finish off yeah, the summer. Yeah, yeah, give yeah us for some sure. More pointers. Bill <laughs> Teagam joined us from Little Stroke Swim Academy. Thanks so much for joining us and congratulations on opening up the new building. We're really excited Thanks. for you. Thanks. Yeah. Don't go away, there's more Wisconsin family coming up right after this. Stick around.
Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We've been having a lovely time here at Ruben's Our Lifestyle over on the west side of Madison. These chairs and that couch, they're so comfortable. It's hard not to just Earlier do this Justin the whole time. told me that his rump was getting a hug. It so. feels like my rump <laughs> is getting a hug in this chair. It's it's accurate. It's an accurate statement. <laughs> We're joined now by Adam White who uh, manages the Ruben's Our Lifestyle. Adam, how are you? I am doing well. Good to have you with us Glad again today. Glad to be here. Good. Yeah. Uh, nice to see you guys. So, what are, what are we talking about today, Adam? Uh, today we wanted to discuss uh, Ruben's will be running a leather promotion the entire okay. month of June. So okay. Wanted Great. to talk about leather furniture a little bit. Great. I love leather. Yeah. Every time I come to, I fall in love with wherever we are sitting. I love yeah. this couch. Yeah. It's perfect. I yeah, and you could tell. I mean, it's it just has a nice feel to it. And this is this yeah. is real leather, and I think there's um there's some longevity to that. I think we were talking about that. Yeah, the let's show. actually discuss because a lot of folks, of course, who have families also have young kids, mm -hmm. older kids, mm -hmm. pets. Right. Maybe you're just a mess. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> like me. No. But talk to us a little bit about that. I mean, is leather a good purchase in terms of just holding up? Yeah, absolutely. It is without a doubt the most durable mm -hmm. uh, material that furniture is made from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a very common question that we get. I've got toddlers or teenagers or cats and dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, far and away it is the easiest to take care of right. of mm -hmm. uh, any furniture and has the most staying power. Sure. Wow. Well, I can imagine just from a like cleaning perspective, I mean, if you do have a little oops or a spill or something, if you do that on, on fabric, it's a lot tougher to make oh, a quick cleanup. Right. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Just wipe it up on a lot of the right. a lot of the leather. Now there are a lot of different types of leather out there, mm -hmm. which is important to know. Okay. Um, a lot of folks think that it's going to be very difficult to clean, and certainly there are leathers out there that are. Sure. Okay. But we offer the full spectrum. Sure. So um, if you've got younger kids or pets, we can steer you in the direction sure. of a leather that's going to work for you. Uh, yeah. So yes. if that's something that's uh, uh, important to you, then they can ask you about that. Is this easy to clean? leather? It is, yeah. Okay, okay mm -hmm. good. So, you know, I've heard people say, you know, especially when we get into the summer months, you know, when, uh, for example, some people have leather interiors in their in their vehicles, you know, when sure. they shut the car up for a couple hours, they get in there and that leather is hot. And I've heard a lot of people say that leather is way too hot. Is there any truth to that? Well, um, there is. And I think a lot of people get that from exactly what you're describing sure. from their vehicle. Yeah. Um, it is a natural insulator. So yeah. it's really going to just take on the ambient temperature sure. of the room right. and your car being in the sun for right. six, yeah. eight hours um, is certainly going to be warm than most people keep their home. Right. Um, so yeah, it is Just going to take bit. on the yeah the temperature of the room. Yeah. So um, there, is, it is a legitimate concern, but yeah. you just have to remember that it is a natural insulator, so it'll be the temperature of whatever room it sits well, in. Well, that sounds good. You put the thermostat at what you want it, and your couch will match. There you that go. That sounds perfect. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, so that's a good good question. Let's talk a little bit about another, another question that could be prohibitive to people is price. Mm -hmm. right. Is it really expensive? It's certainly got that sort of stigma that like, boy, I don't know if I can afford having a leather for, you know, furniture set. Talk to us about that. Sure. Um, it is a little more expensive, but you're only going to buy it once. Right. Um, where a lot of these things, you know, a lot of the fabric sofas, especially if you've got kids or pets, you're going to be replacing that a little sure. more often. Mm -hmm. um, we also tend to work a lot with this sofa is actually a really good example of something that's kind of timeless design. Right. So yeah. as long as you are comfortable in the design style you're mm -hmm. buying, if you spend a little more money on it, it's going mm -hmm. to last a lot longer. Yeah. yeah. It's an investment piece, I think. I mean, you think about if you're buying something for your home, another big investment, of course, you're probably going to have your home for a long time. You're going to have your, your furniture for a long time then, too. Right. And I know how expensive it is to reupholster things. <laughs> it's, not an, it's not cheap. That's yeah. right. So that's if you right. can avoid that, that's always good. And mm -hmm. you get to actually enjoy, you know, having a leather couch, too, or a leather sofa versus me, who has a, a fabric-covered sofa, I have to put a blanket over my my sofa so that my right. kids and my dog don't, you know, spill stuff on it. And yet they still manage to get stained. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> but you can actually enjoy like the way the couch actually looks without, you know, having to put some ugly throw blanket on it or something. We like hope that, so. Which is great. Yeah. You know, so you get it's a good investment on the outset, and then you get to enjoy it too. Right. You know, it's the yeah. Best what of both good worlds. is a piece of furniture? Right. I'm thinking about. I, you remember that show? Everyone loves Raymond, where yeah. the mom has like the plastic 
plastic cover over her sure. upholstered right. couch. <laughs> That's just, no. That's, yeah. <laughs> I didn't go that far. I wish I had it that together, but yeah. no, anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, okay. So it's, it's definitely an investment yeah. piece. I think that's smart. And, and let's talk a little bit about color options because, you know, a lot of people, when they think leather, you know, real leather, they think brown. Right. But are there color options? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But that is true. A lot of people right. seem to think, well, I don't really want brown or black, yeah. so I don't know how I feel about leather. Right. But we offer it in everything from bright blues to reds to oranges to lime greens. Yeah. I mean, you can get pretty wild if yeah. you want to. Well, yeah. I think what's cool about having the color options is maybe you do your, your big piece of furniture if you're not quite that adventurous, like you're not ready to have a green sofa or something like that. You could do your big piece in a nice basic and then sort of like you've got here, yeah. add an Mm -hmm. accent. These complement exactly. each other really well. Yeah, yep. yeah, absolutely. So I think that would be a fun way to sort of, you know, bring some more adventurous pieces into your home. Mm -hmm. We do that home. quite often actually. We'll just do a kind of a brighter color chair, one of the smaller pieces, or even an ottoman. Leather is a great material for an ottoman. Mm -hmm. Ottomans generally take a little more abuse than a yes. lot of other things. Yeah. So yeah, we sell a lot of yeah. those. Yeah, and there. along that same line, we talked a little bit about, you know, kids and pets and things. If you've got toddlers at home having a leather ottoman, how safe is that by comparison to, you know, to edges oh, and yeah. things? That's a really right. smart thing to do for yep. your kids. And a lot of folks are buying uh, larger ottomans, maybe doing a tray on top of it, something like yeah. that. Now you can still keep your drinks and sure. whatnot, but yeah, much, much safer. And for you kids. can move it. When your kid goes to grab your drink, you just move the tray. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so that's really fun. Uh, let's talk any other promotions. You know, you guys are, are running this promotion for June. Right. I think that's great. So people can come in and, and get some leather at a little bit more affordable price. Prices. What else is going on? Anything? We're also doing a dining sale uh, this month that kind of coincides with the leather promo that we're doing. Uh, we'll probably talk more about that later. Okay. Um, we also have quite a few floor model pieces left. Um, stop in either location mm -hmm. and um, look for the bright orange tags. Those are all items that are marked way down and available immediately. So right. I like that idea too because you know some of these pieces are order pieces. Well, a lot of them really are order pieces, mm -hmm. and most people can can wait but if you are kind of looking for a little bit of a deal or you want something a little bit quicker there's certainly ways to get those absolutely so yeah. it's kind of fun too love you can be on models. the hunt for the orange stick yeah. yeah that's right <laughs> always, always love the floor models yeah. we always love coming here to visit with you adam it's always great content and, and we look forward to it and we look forward to just relaxing sitting back and yeah. giving our rumps a hug we get good use out of so your floor <laughs> models well, we, we appreciate that it is my pleasure to have you all right well adam white Thanks, from adam. rubens our lifestyle thank you so much for joining us today Thanks for having us today. You bet. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for joining us on Wisconsin Family. That's all the time we have, and we'll see you next time.